Power yes, sir. Okay. Um, please, ano, prepare your show me boards for later. Good morning, sir. Okay, let's start na. So that began finish early. So you know naman our online classroom rules, so you be respectful. You turn on your video when you when asked or when you are asked, even you, when you want to recite. So you may just turn off your video so that you can save your data. And to ensure a seamless online class experience. Mute your mic when somebody is talking. Then you have you can type or have a question in the chat box. If you have any questions, clarifications, and of course, very important, you take down notes. So for our attendance, I'll just taking a quick screenshot of our screen right now. So there are 16 people. So one, two, three, smile. All right. Tapos na. Okay. So once again, it's player trivia challenge. So I think you already know the mechanics, but just as a review, to review the mechanics. So again, you'll be divided into two teams. To answer, you must type one hyphen mine. So the team that gets the correct answer, you gain one point. And if you're wrong, the next team will be able to answer or steal. Okay? But if nobody got the answer, or nobody got the answer, even the second team will not answer, the answer will be revealed and nobody gets the point. So each point will give you one point to be added to your performance test. So be sure that you have your team leaders to record. Okay, di ba i-record? Tanang nga trivia points. Okay, i add until the end of this applied physics subject. So one point will be given and directed to the team score if anyone types group number mine before the trivia question was presented. So be sure you only type your group number and mine if nagawa na trivia question. Again, a format, one hyphen, mine. When I ban nga ibutang, all caps ang mine. So, Mike must again be switched back to mute after answering the question. Okay? So, our topic for today is reverberation time. So, I think, na, ano ko na nino? Ah, wala pagali. So, for your activity for today, this will be submitted later on Google Classroom or until Friday, you're going to make a KWL chart on your one crosswise or you can submit na lang on a word file o brand na lang table. So K stands for what you know, W for what you want to know, and L for what you learn. So K is what you already know about reverberation time, anything about reverberation time. So you list three things. W for what you want to know, ano gusto mo palaan about reverberation time, and L for what you have learned. So after the lesson, you list three things that you have learned about the topic. Okay? Questions about the KWL chart? Alright. So let's have our first trivia. This cathedral is the most famous whispering gallery in London, where even whispers can be clearly heard on the other parts of the gallery. What is the name of this cathedral? Fifteen seconds starts now. 
Yes, Enrique. Uh, St. Paul's Cathedral, sir. Okay, very good. The answer is St. Saint Saint Paul's Cathedral. So, group 2 got the correct answer. So, ang structure is yung St. Paul's Cathedral. Diba, ito ka circle ang iyang uh, building. So, there is one of the reasons why sound can actually circulate. So, you can hear even whispers from the other side. Next trivia. It is the scientific study of sound perception. What is the scientific study? Yes, Rexy. Psychoacoustics, sir. Very good. The answer is psychoacoustics. So, group 2 got another point. Easy lang, no? Kami magulang. Alright. Reverberation time. So, object is for today is, of course, you will be going to define reverberation time. You differentiate echo and reverberation because these two terms are actually in a... Um, interchangeable but they're actually two different things then you yeah, will be deriving the formulas for reverberation time and you solve sample problems for reverberation time all right so what is the difference between echo and reverberation do you have any idea anyone you can click the raise hand icon are they the same echo versus reverberation What is echo and what is reverberation? What is the main difference? You can tell me the difference or any idea about these two terms. Yes, Lorraine. Sir, ang difference nila, sir, is ang, ang ano bala, sir, ang kadugayon bala, sir, sang mabatean mga sound. Okay, it has something to do with how long it takes for the sound to bounce back. Okay, that's the main difference between echo and reverberation. So, for example, one main difference is at what, type, at what Lorraine have said is the distance or how long the sound will return to your ear. So, echo results from the reflection of sound off the distance surface and is returned to your ear. If the distance is greater than 17 meters. Okay, that is how ng acoustic people define echo. So, the time taken is greater than 0 0.1 seconds. Of course, because the greater the distance, the greater it takes for sound to bounce back. Correct? Speed equals to distance over time. However, a reverberation is perceived when the reflected sound wave reaches your ear in less than 0 0.1 seconds after the original sound wave. So, reverberation when the distance is less than 17 meters. So, one of the reasons why when you sing inside the bathroom, sing na ba lang bathroom, di ba doon ka nabi mo tingog? That is actually reverb. Magkabatihan mo, muna siyang reverb. Notice naman, kung mag magkanta ka mo sa banyo, ganabi ang inyong katingog, no? That is actually reverb. Ga help sa qualities. Ga increase ang qualities ng mga nga, nga tingog. Required magkanta sa banyo. Doon naman, no? Pero do do ba feel mo lang doon kinanglan mo magkanta? Doka a strange na phenomenon. Okay, questions? None? Sige, let's move on. So, muna siya. Greater than 17 meters, echo. Less than 17 meters, reverberation. Okay, so mas layo ang imong uh, echo. Reflection of a distance clip. Usually nga echo, mo isang batiyan mo sa mga... Sa church, correct? Sa mga caves, kung magkatok sa kweba, syagit ka for no reason. Eh, sa mga mountains, magsyagit ka. Sa mga bukid-bukid, for example, you will hear a sound. That is the echo. So, reverberation time, by definition, is the time taken by the sound wave to fall below the minimum audibility level. So, to so standardize that one, it has been defined as the time for the sound to die away to a level of 60 decibels below its original level. What is decibel, gani? DB. It refers to what, gani? Dumakita niyo, binin DB, DB. Anyone? Sino nag-raise? Yes, Lorraine? Intensity of sound, sir. Yeah, first to the intensity of sound. Or usually, ang, ang volume sa mga sound. So, higher DB, tunog, lower DB, na ang hina. Okay? The audibility level of sound. 
So reverberation time or RT equals to RT60, the time to drop at 60 decibels below the original level. So for example, 100 minus 60 to 40. So 100 dB to 40, muna siya ang reverberation time. The time it takes for 100 decibel ng sound to go down or to be reduced to 40 decibels. Right? So you might be asking, why 60? Okay, nga 60, gita pa tao, why not 70, 20, 1,000, or 1 million, nga 60 decibels. Because, by the way, that's the, no, 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 the graph of the reverberation time. So the steady sound source, ang mga sa may zero. Can you see my moving mouse sa PowerPoint? Kitaan. Okay, so muna siya, ang mga steady sound source, let's say nagwaka ka da, so mag-go mag horizontally. Then, kung patchun mo na ang sound, of course, the sound will not immediately die down. Correct? Because sound is a form of energy, sound energy. So it will die down, so manawag na siya, ang muna siya natural decay of sound until it will reach your minus 60 decibel. So 0 to negative 60. The time it takes for this one to happen, that is your reverberation time. Okay? So muna siya ang yung mga, for example, sa yung mga mag-practice practice ka mo sa band. Ano ang reason? Why studio room have this egg trays placed on the wall? Design or carpets? And what's the reason? Nga may mga egg tray nga ginapang tapik sa pader sa inyo nga studio room kung mag band practice bala. What is the reason? Yes, Enrique. Kay para sir, hindi mag bounce ang sound sir. Okay. Para ma-minimize ang ang ano, ang pag-disperse ng imong sound, pag-reflect sa imong sound, okay? Ito sa to do with the material because every material have their own absorption coefficient. So every material that you see has the ability to absorb sound. And another reason is that ang shape mismo sa imong egg tray, di ba dugo pa triangle? Ito sa to do with the how it reflects your ng sound waves na mahalin sa inyong mga instruments. So more on that later on. Okay? Next trivia, at 75 seconds, this oil complex shattered the world record for longest reverberation time. On what country can we find this oil complex? Where can we find this oil complex? Ano nga country? Country lang ha? Okay? Yes, Rexy. Scotland, sir. Scotland, correct. The answer is Scotland. All right. Sana all. So the answer is Scotland. So I'll be, nang, ano, I'll be presenting what it's like to be inside this long oil complex. Okay. So I'll be presenting what it's like to be inside this long oil complex. Okay. So I'll be oil complex. Wait again. Hey, Can you see the icon? Makita nyo yung icon. Class, can you see the player? Alright. So, I'll be playing this audio, audio file. one minute for the sound to die down. So, for example, magamba ka da, wawa, wawa, after one minute pa na madula ang mga wawa, wawa, then ma-overlap, overlap pa na. Okay? Causing this horrifying sound. Right. So, that is in Scotland. So, sino na nakapa-Scotland? Wala pa man, no? So, basi mga katoka mo to sa ilang inch and down complex, oil complex. Okay, let's proceed. Oil storage.
So why 60 decibels? That's what I've said. Yung 60. Because 60, 100 decibels is the time ang mga volume or typical loudest crescendo of an orchestra. What is crescendo? Gani? Anyone? Music lovers? What is crescendo? Yes, Jamel. Anong crescendo? Or si Jamel? Jamel, are you here? New tone siya, no? Ano? Awe oh, siya. What is crescendo? Nalang? Yes, Jeff. What is crescendo? Sa mga music. Ang daw increase kids ang sa... Ang ano? Pag gradual increase ang volume. Okay, pag sa uh, andog rising, rising, no? Sa sound, sa mga orchestra, andog ka pa abot sa climax, gataas na gataas, hasta boom. Kamo na siya ang mga crescendo. Then, 60 decibel drop used to define the standard reverberation time to around 40 decibels. The typical room, background, level. So, mga classroom, sa inyong mga bands. So, kamo na siya ang gideside nila nga 60 decibels ang mga reverberation time. Okay? So, kung magkato ka sa mga sinihan, di ba may makita ka mga mga carpets, mga kortina, sinihan pero may kortina, then mga draperies. May reason na da, nga ah, may mga ano, carpets and draperies. Are they for aesthetic purposes only or there is an ano, scientific underlying exp ng explanation? What's the reason nga may carpet and kortina ang mga sinihan? Even the walls, di ba? Manotis nyo, doka, doka garas sa mga wall, hindi sila nga doka simentado doka kortina ng texture ang mga walls because it has something to do with the absorption and distribution of sound. Kaya imagine maglato ka sinihan tapos ang iyong mga pader is made of walls nga makita talaga sa mga simbahan. Kung di ma-echo, imagine yung lakas wala echo ang sinihan is because of the structure sa ang sinihan mismo. Okay? It's because of the draperies, because of other building materials they use para ma-absorb ang sound para crisp ka clear ang sound. Okay? So ito sila nga gin design design lang. So ginano gin gin tanuhan ka gin engineer gin nila nga you will be hearing a good quality or have the highest quality of sound inside the theater or sa mga sinihan. Okay? So kung magkatama mo sinihan, you can apply this principle ko din ka mo din dinami pung ko Okay, so usually sa sa ano, sa itong nga, hindi nyo gusto namin pong ko, depende man sa inyo. Hindi ka mo mapong ko, pwede ka mo makitaan. Alright. So, same situation is the formula used to determine ng reverberation time. Actually, there are many ng equations like airing, may iban pag isang equation, but we will simply nang discuss same bin equation. So, by definition, it's defined the reverberation time. Sabin defined the reverberation time as the time taken by sound intensity to fall in one millionth of its original intensity after the source stopped emitting sound. Okay, diba decibels? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 deci, diba? That's why anong ka zero? 1 million. Okay? So si Sabin, amor sila derived sa formula. Where T or RT, reverberation time, equals to 0 0.161 multiplied by the volume of the space hindi ng sound, divided by the total absorption coefficient and the surface area. Again ha, ng reverberation time equals 0 0.161, this is a constant, okay, when it comes to ng meter ng mga measurement, may araman na din sa, ay, din lang yun. Ay, lang giliwa. So, RT, or T is reverberation time in seconds. The time for 60 de decibels decrease in level. Kasi is a constant, so 0 0.049 for foot units, so, for example, your area is measured in foot. So, meaning you will use 0 0.049. So, for example, the room is 5 feet by 6 feet by 10 feet. You use the 0 0.049 ng constant. And 0 0.161 for meter units. So, SI unit for length, di ba, meters. So, V is for room volume in cubic feet or cubic meters. The A tot or A total is the total sound absorption in square feet or square meters. Okay. So, for example, mayroon ka lang isa ka room na same lang material, of course, 
the same isa lang nakasum assortment coefficient ang imo nga gamit okay so for example ang a sub 1 niyo s sub 1 amo siya ang wall ang isa ka wall sa imo nga room then a nang a2 s2 other wall or kung may carpet ka pagid ma a3 s3 okay tanan nga material nga ara sa room ikwaon man sa sang iya nga absorption sound absorption coefficient and its area Okay, even may tawo na da, is yung tawo, may arasang sound absorption coefficient. That's why you need to get the eight total sang tanan nga surface nga arada sa sa imo nga room. Okay? So, SI is the area of a particular surface and alpha I, or number one, it's sound absorption coefficient. Ranges over all absorbing surfaces in the room. Okay? So, muna siyang formula, T equals to 0.161B or 0.049B over your summation of absorption coefficient multiplied by the total surface area. Questions! Sapos na, no? Questions? None. So, these are different materials of their different sound absorption coefficient. Okay? So, for example, you have ng brickwork na napintahan it will have around 0.01 to 0.02 so, kung wala napintahan 0.02 to 0.05 so meaning ang paint ga affect sa absorption coefficient ka material okay lain ng quality sang sound sa isa ka room nga wala pinta sa room nga may pinta lain ng quality sang sound if it is made of hardwood lain kung it is made of snow correct natawang snow almost 0.75 sound absorption coefficient. So meaning, ang sound wala ga bounce back kung magkanto sa kung magtiyaga sa snow, correct? Kay taas ang iyang absorption coefficient around 75%. So kung acoustic bell si primary bouncing back ang may lang iyang sound absorption coefficient. Okay? So for example, you have your common materials, plaster on lath, heavy drapes, carpet and pad, acoustic tile. Questions? None? So, ang imunin alpha or absorption coefficient, ang munisang percentage ng sound ng iya nga ma-absorb. What will happen if the material is around 1.0 sound absorption coefficient? Ano nga tabo sa sound? May mapatian ka nga echo or reverb if you have a sound absorption coefficient of 1.0. Miara? Yes, Lian. Miara or wala? If a material has sound absorption coefficient of 1.0, can you hear an echo or reverb? May makitaan ka nga... Ah, sir, gamay lang, sir. May gamay lang nga sound? Oh, may gamay nga ito, sir. May gamay nga ito, or echo. So, there is, wala, of course. Wala kang may matian. Like, di ba, kung 0.75, 75% ma-absorb, siyempre kung 1, 100% iyang nga ma-absorb. Natawang tawo, persons each. Kita nyo, 2.0 to 5.0. 500% ang ma-absorb yung sound. So kung may tawo, na siya gitan mo, gabongs back ang sound. Di ba wala man? Correct? So for example, imo pa, they're made of human bodies. So gitan mo na ang mga tawo. Di ba wala man na gabongs back ang sound? Because our skin have high absorption coefficient. Okay? Around 2.0 to 5.0. So pinaka, ano gate, pinaka less plagamay, amun sa mga plaster walls, the plywood panel, so grabe na di ang pag-bounce back sa inyong mga sound. Okay? Clear? So, ang uh, simple logic, so for example, open ang inyong mga window, so therefore, hindi mag-bounce back ang inyong mga sound. Correct? Kaya magwa ang sound mo. So, 1.0. So, kung naman yung material, 0.02, gamay lang, and kung ay, ng dako, na pag-bounce back, kung 0.95, gamay lang ang sound nga mabalik. Kaya 95% of the sound is being absorbed. Okay? Next. So, anong implication sa ang reverberation time? So, kung gamay ang imong reverberation time, syempre, madula dayon ang imong nga sound. It will become inaudible. So, pag wakal mo pa lang, boom, makat dayon. Okay? If too high naman, amon sang sa inch and down, sa may oil storage, nga ma-exist ang sound for a very, very long time, nag-mag-overlap. 
That's why doon magkakapatian ka ng mga yawa kung magwakal ka sa isa ka place na taas ang reverberation time. So dapat, for good audibility, should be kept at an optimum value. Depending kung ano nga sound or ano nga quality ang iyong mga gusto. Okay? Optimum meaning ang isa ka acceptable na value. Okay? So too low in audible, too high, it will exist for a very long time. Next, what do you call a room designed to absorb reflections of either sound or electromagnetic waves? What is the name of this room? Ito na, may mga spike spikes. Ibis niya egg tray. Mga spikes ang ginabotan sa room. So imagine, bila ko nari ka rin sa maninga room. Ano matabok? Yes, Enrique? Acoustic and echoic chambers. Okay, very good. It is an acoustic and echoic chamber. So group 2 again. Pili ko ginpasa ni Rexy ang answer kay Enrique para kung nabi... Biblano. <laughs> so group 3, a group 2 got 4 points. Group 1, a ball. 0 pa lang ka mo. Oh. Okay. So nga, amunin siya ang ilanggit? structure sa ang imong anechoic chamber. Ano ang matabo ko narin ka sa anechoic chamber? So let's play another video para makita ng difference. Okay, can you see my screen? Ang video play area. Alright. Okay lang guys. So this one is played inside a normal room. So listen very carefully sa reverb or echo nga gaka-produce gaka kung mag-play kasang saxophone. Di ba may echo? Oh. Now look what happens, or now listen to what happens if you are inside an anechoic chamber. Okay, class, can you nang ano? Can you hear the difference? between a saxophone played in a normal room or an echoic chamber and a room played in an echoic chamber. Nabatian nyo ang difference? Sige ba, you can describe sang sound or quality sang sound nga ara sa normal na room kaysa sa ka an echoic chamber. You can describe anong imo inyo nga nabatian. Yes, Joan. Sir, ang sa normal, sir, nga, ano, sir, mga room, nang gamay-gamay, nga may isang nga gabalit bila kong EMD, uh, ay kung tapos yun nga bila ang iyong ginagamit, sir. Tapos sa anikawit, sir, nang gina-absorb kids, ang, ano, sir, wala na ba yung sound of kaya, ano, nang... Okay, so very good. So, kung sa normal ang room, of course, you can hear the echo because the material is made for the reflection of sound. But inside an anechoic chamber, ang structure na ba sa ngayang, doon ka spiking, di ba mo man yung egg tray, but na, they, take, they, take, they took further lengths, hindi mo kinilay, doon ka spike, doon ka stalacites and stalagmites, doon ka cave, para ang sound ma-absorb na gin all through, ano, completely. Okay? So imagine kung ano ang feeling nga ara ka sa amo ni nga place nga wala kang mimibatian nga echo or reverb. Next. The past the quietest place on earth so silent that the background noise measured is actually negative decibels. What is the name of this laboratory found in Minnesota? Yes, Jaya. Orfield Laboratories, sir. Okay, very good. The answer is in Orfield Laboratories. So, this is on 
ng ano, Minnesota. This is the Orfield Laboratory. So imagine nga negative decibels, you can actually hear the beating of your own heart. Correct? So mabati ang mong beating sa mong heart, kung mag-concentrate ka, you will actually go mad. You will have an experience na tawag tabla nga maddening silence. Diba? Imagine, if, kung gahod, dumabuang ka, how much more kung sobra ka hipos, mabuang ka manggali gapon. So amon siya ang sa my ore field laboratory. Ako na may ara pag yung subong naging develop nga quietest place on earth. But uh, na lipat na ko kung ano itong nga, nga place or names ng laboratory. Okay? So group 1, 1 point. Group 2, 4 points. So be sure to record your ng scores for the trivia. So let's try ng solving a sample problem. So I'll be giving you around 5 minutes to solve this one. Then later, you will show your answers on the show me board. Be sure to box your final answer. If possible, use a marker so that I can see your answers. Okay? So a hall of volume 5,500 meter cube, cubic meters, have reverberation time of 2.3 seconds. Sound absorbing coefficient of the hall has, uh, has an area 750 meters squared. Calculate the absorption coefficient. So the absorbing surface of the hall has a total area, a total surface area of 750 meters squared. Calculate the average absorption coefficient.
Okay, done. Lapas, sige. Ah. One minute. If you're done, you can ano, ah, show your show me boards to in, so that I will know that you're done. Make your final answers clear. Box your final answers. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Wala pa. 4, 3, 2, 1. Everybody raise your boards. Or show me boards or papers. Okay. So you can raise your boards now. Natawan nyo kay Lorraine, kay Daka Clear. Makita, nagit na ako. So 0 0.513 savings. By the way, the unit is Sabins, S-A-B-I-N or S-A-B-I-N-E. But I think the S-A-B-I-N is the unit. Okay, 0 0.513, 0 0.13. I think everybody got the correct answer. The answer is, very good. The answer is 0 0.513. Sabins. The unit for ng, ano, autorphan coefficient is Sabins, S-A-B-I-N-S. Okay? So, very simple. I substitute in values for RT equals to 0 0.161 volume over the total absorption coefficient multiplied by the surface area. So, 0 0.161 to get the absorption coefficient. So, isolate or apply your multiplicative property of equality V over TS. So, A or alpha equals to 0 0.161, 5,500 divided by 750 multiplied by 2.3. And you will get 0 0.513 savings. Okay? Questions? So yeah. Then I'm good. Dito ba ka siya rano ha? Bulan mo ka muna. Ah, nagali ha? Mas rano tagali ha? Um, please type answer this one again. This time you're given 13 feet by 20 feet by 8 feet. So there are four walls of plaster, absorption coefficient of 0 0.1. Ayan okay. What time na? What time pa? Okay, class, can, can you see my PowerPoint? Kita on. Okay? Kita on. Alright. So this time, you're given, ay lang, na 13 feet by 20 feet by 8 feet nga room. So there are four walls of plaster, each having an absorption coefficient of 0 0.1. The carpet floor has an alpha of 0 0.3 and the ceiling has an absorption coefficient of 0 0.6. Find the reverberation time. So yeah, another 5 minutes to solve this one. So this time, lainay uh, materials sang yung mga wall. Your wall is made of plaster. The floor is made of carpet. And the ceiling is made up of an absorptive tile. So find the reverberation time given the different material.
If you're done, now please raise your boards. Okay, this one will be solved longer than our previous example because there are now many variables involved. So yeah, now take your time. Time check, it's 11.41. So remember your lessons, uh, geometry, regarding re surface area, how to solve the surface area, rectangular prism, kabula pa mga no? Length times width times height times 2, length times height, width times height. Okay, done. So yeah, 
Everybody, show your boards. Raise your boards. 1.17 seconds by Lorraine. 0 0.075 decibels. Again, reverberation time is measured in seconds. Unit na sang reverberation time, ha? time is seconds. What about the others? Gasol pa. Sige, ha? last one minute. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, everybody raise your boards. Raise your boards. Let's try to solve this example. So basically, now you have a room, correct? But the walls, floor, and ceiling have different material. So in mga four walls, the same material. So start yung coefficient, 0 0.1, correct? So, di ba, to solve for the, ano, so the surface area, you multiply 2 times 20 feet by 8 feet plus 2 times 13 by 8. So, length times width times 2, then ayang uh, height times width times 2, correct? That is for the wall. Then multiply it by 0 0.1, correct? Di ba, 4 walls, so dapat may 2 kag 2, apat sila. Then the floor is different material, so the floor is 13 feet by 20 feet. So, isa lang, correct? Times 0 0.3. And the ceiling is a man. So, of course, the same lang measurement sang ceiling is sang floor. So, 13 by 20 feet. They multiply it by 0 0.6. You get a total of 286 savings. Amunan siya ang total mga absorption coefficient sa tanan na nga surface sang imunga room. Nagets class kung paano nakwa ang sa walls, floor, kag ceiling nga 2 times 20 times 8 plus 2 times 13 times 8. That is for the ng surface area of your rectangular prism. Di bang room mo based rectangular prism? Then, once you have solved for the, the ng, uh, total absorption coefficient, you can substitute the values. So, 0 0.050 or 0 0.049 because we are using feet units. Correct? Di ba feet? Feet ang units. So, 0 0.49 or ginagawa nila 0 0.50. So, 13 by 20 by 8 is the volume divided by 286.8. And you will get a reverberation time of 0 0.36 seconds. Correct? So, the absorption coefficient depends on frequency. People absorb sound. So, mga additional notes na yan. Upholstered C3 savings. Questions? None. So, you will be, I will be giving a quiz. This will be na present or nang written sa inyong Google Classroom, sa inyong uh, stream block class, na upload ko na ni class ha? please check na lang, deadline for this will be until Friday pa, so you can answer ano na crosswise or on a piece of paper but on a crosswise na lang ha para mapakita nyo yung solution so this is the problem presented on your Google Classroom nga classwork, so you solve this one, reverberation time the room given the following in uh, details amon siya ang dimension sang room amon na siya ang absorption coefficient sa material nga naging gamit okay so for the homework Friday man gyapon you cite three more real life applications for reverberation time aside from the examples being discussed so no need to present it next meeting kaysa observation ko lang niya sige questions nan sige ba as a summary can somebody please define reverberation time and echo, what is the main difference between reverberation time and echo? Anyone, please raise your hand if you'd like to answer before we dismiss. What is the difference between reverberation time and echo? You can read your notes or in your own words, differentiate. Reverberation time and echo. Just raise your hand. Yes, Shotona Grace. Rexy. 
echo results from the reflection of sound of the distant surface and its return to your ear, while a reverberation is perceived when the reflected sound wave reaches your ear in less than 0.1 second after the original sound. Okay, very good. So, on echo na greater than 17 meters, greater than 0.1 seconds, con reverberation time less than 17, less than 0.1 second. Very good. Now, who can give me the formula for reverberation time? Sino pang wala ko na ba't yung tingog? I'll be asking La Chica. Christine, what is the the lang it? The formula for reverberation time. Nang reverberation time ng RT60 is equal to time to drop 60 decibels below original level, sir. Okay, so the time takes, or ang yung formula, ang may, can you state the formula, ang may variables, get, please. Nang T is equal, is equal to 0 0.161 volume over ng alpha alpha sub n kag surface area surface area sub n sir okay so it will be that ng vrt equals to 0.161 or 0.49 per feet units multiplied by the volume divided by the summation of the total sound absorption coefficients and the surface area of the room okay questions None. So this will be your homework. This will be your quiz. All will be due Friday. And of course, your KWL chart. Ah. May nalala to. May nabutan ako itong KWL chart. Nga, ay, nga, nga sal salamitan. Bala, sa Google Classroom. Wala pa, no? Sige, yun ito po kasi rin. Huwag nilang KWL chart. Ah. Anyway, for demo, wala man ito tani. For the curie. Huwag ito, ha? Do not answer the KWL chart. Ang ano na lang, ang assignment na lang, and ang, ang quiz. Okay? Sige, yeah. questions, number questions. Thank you very much. Dismiss. Goodbye, Newton. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be uploading you, this, ng, ano, this lesson on YouTube. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.